I've huh? seen, yeah, I've seen some pretty bad ones. Where people are like talking to themselves. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Every single one of my friends either smoked out, dead, or in prison. It's not about the food. Well, the food gets them here. It's about doing the outreach and maybe helping them get into detox and treatment. Well, for what we do, you know, my motto is kind of we, we never shoot the wounded. So if somebody calls and asks for help, I don't care if they've called me six times and I've gotten them in and out of detox six, seven times and that has happened. So we try and help them no matter what. We love them where they're at. Um, because that's what our organization does. You know, I don't know. You know, there are other people that do that too. You know, but I do have boundaries. And if I get them, they get in the car, and we get, build a rapport over these times, you know, in and out of detox or in and out of treatment, you know, whatever it might have been. And they, they think they can take advantage or, you know, play kindness for weakness. Uh, I clean that up pretty quickly because I tell them, you know, I, I could be doing better fucking things. You know, you want to go to detox, you want help, then I'm here to help you. But don't think I'm going to make 10 stops on the way there, you know, so you can take 10 hits or whatever you want to do. It's not the way it works. And uh, so a lot of guys, res I guess they respect that. I, I have those boundaries, you know, and, uh, you know, and that's just kind of what we do. Days, 80 days clean. Uh, I'm happy. All my family is happy. Mother, father, brothers, my my daughter. So, thank you, next place. I would have been thrust out onto the streets if it wasn't for courage to change. I am forever grateful for this place.